Hey there, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. I'm the one who's going to be doing your reading, pull you a couple of cards here for November 2020, just so you can get to know me. All right, feel free to check out my channel. Uh, this here, though, is for Spiritual Guidance Academy only. I'm having all of these signs here working with selenite. All right, that will help purify your environment, especially for my fellow spiritual workers out there. Uh, if you're feeling drained, uh, psychics, uh, anything like that, tarot readers, this is great for also purifying that as well. You know, also too, with uh, protecting your environment as well, very low maintenance crystal. So let's see, what do we have going on here for Sagittarius? Okay, no comments last month. That is all right. Big shout outs to all of you, especially big shout out to Spiritual Guidance Academy and Nicole for allowing me uh, to share this for a little bit just so you guys can kind of get, guys, gals can kind of get to know me. So thank you all so very much. Sagittarius, you are a fire sign. This reading could have to do with love. This reading could have to do with friends, finances, health, lack thereof. Okay. Um, I'm going to be just pulling you a few different cards. And I do understand that you are all in different areas of your life. Your ruling planet is also Jupiter, for those that may be unaware. So let's see here for our Sagittarius, what is the first card that we have? Okay, I've been really pulling this one a lot. Uh, this is the Eagle card on the bottom here. It says, see from a higher perspective. And whatever led you to this reading, uh, in Crosswatcher, pull up a seat, not gender specific. If you do not have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, this message could also very well possibly be for you. All right, so we've got the Eagle here. When we think Eagle, uh, representation, freedom, amongst other things, this is also to raising your vibrational frequencies as well. All right. Uh, this is having to pretty much fly above the storm, you know, uh, for any, you know, anyone out there that works on an airline or is a pilot, anything like that. What do they say? You know, I'm clearly not a pilot or anything like that. But uh, typically what we hear is, you know, if you've ever been on a plane before, OK, uh, if there's a storm coming, they typically try to literally get the plane above the clouds, the bad weather, and then it's smooth sailing from there. So I feel like for a lot of you, you possibly could be going through this. All right. Also having to take the higher road, if you will. Also, you know, taking care of yourself. Also, this is, uh, you know, seeing things from a different perspective, not necessarily flying off the handle. I completely get it. All right, you've got that fiery energy within you, and sometimes it can be very easy to uh, pop off, if you will, because people are button pushers out there and may try to get on your last nerve. All right, uh, you know, some of you could be working with Earth signs, some of you could possibly be working with Taurus, maybe Capricorn, possibly Virgo. All right, but we're going to look further on into this here. But this is, uh, you know, working on yourself, your higher truths. Also, too, you may be getting dream downloads, astral projection, you know, uh, and or very vivid, vivid, vivid dreams. Some of you may not dream, that's all right, too. Uh, but I feel like, especially, too, for my singles out there, and again, I do understand understand some of you could be single some of you could be in that oh so fun should I stay should I go relationship possibly maybe you're already coupled up with someone all right uh, this is also to communication as well it's just like why is this person being distant from me why or it could be a friend or family member kids you know whatever uh, maybe yourself it's just like all right what what's going on here you know and we are in interesting times and it's just like why is this person being standoffish. Why is this person like out to get me, if you will? You know, what, what's the deal here? And it's just like, or somebody really may be aggravating you and you're just like, okay, self-control, self-control here. Uh, and it's just like, all right, maybe you're not seeing the complete situation for what's really going on. All right. Some of you could be working with somebody if they may seem like that It may have nothing to do with you. It could or it, it very well could. All right. But it could be that they are going through something that they do not want to bother you with. 
<laughs> All right. Also, too, I'm seeing here, uh, I do have my notifications shut off, but whatever. Some of you could be getting, you know, uh, text messages for days, you know, somebody possibly, you know, looking into your social medias, messages, DMs, whatever. And it's just like, listen, okay, is this person not getting the hints here? All right. Uh, so some of you could be working with that, but it's just like, you want to say what's on your mind and it's almost like you're trying to not bite your tongue off while biting your tongue because you do not want to put that negative energy out there. And it's just like, okay, the games, you know, creating your boundaries here, that freedom, all right, that freedom, that eagle energy there, that eagle medicine, you know, having to soar above, you know, you can't fly with the eagles if you're surrounded by turkeys, if you will, all right. I had somebody actually create uh, me an art, you know, thing for that, for the wall, and that was really awesome, you know, but it's really true. Seeing things from a higher perspective is not necessarily all that easy as well. Also, too, a lot of you could be working with somebody with uh, dark, dark, dark blue eyes, okay? Or possibly yourself. This is also really sinking your talons into something here. Could it be career? Could it be, you know, that relationship? Could it be love? Uh, also, let's just kind of see what else that the angels, spirit guides, that have any messages for us when it comes to our Sagittarius for November 2020 signs to possibly be on the lookout for some of you are also working with Leo's uh, other fire signs as well Sagittarius 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 Leo Sagittarius possibly Aries all right so uh, I am a certified angel oracle reader through uh, Nicole and uh, Spiritual Guidance Academy here. So we have one of our angels here, the star card here, also uh, considered the hope card of the tarot, if you will. This is Archangel Jophiel. Angels are neither male nor female. However, this angel does come across to me more as a feminine energy. All right, on the bottom here, and this is wonderful, I'm loving this. All right, so whatever you're going through, and a lot of us are feeling it, a lot of us are going through it, however, for November, 2020 happy times make positive optimistic long-term plans on the right path so you are on the right path all right uh, also too a lot of you could be working with Pisces energy as well all right some of you out there could be possibly maybe working with Scorpio or Cancer here uh, however Archangel Jophiel now, when it comes to working with angels uh, specifically, they love you. They want to help you. They are never too busy. However, you do have to ask for their help because they cannot interfere with free will unless it's under the law of grace, like emergency type situations. All right. Uh, and we've often heard a lot of others say rejection is protection. All right. And boy, do I know all about that. No biggie. Uh, but you will see the synchronicities when it comes to, you know, you can never overextend your angels. You can never overwork them. All right. Uh, again, they could be everywhere and just with you all at once. OK, so Joe feel here. All right. It's just letting go of that negative energy. Also, too, you'll see the synchronicities when it comes to working with angels. They love music. So uh, some of my you know, music uh, lovers out there, you may hear in a song, you may see imagery, you got, you may have that aha moment, like, wow, uh, in a dream, you know, possibly seeing something as well, maybe hearing people talking about something. Uh, also to Archangel Jophiel likes to come through, you may see a hot pink, all right, uh, I'm trying to find something around here. All right. You may get like a, a hot pink. All right. And it may seem like it's, uh, you know, maybe like and I, I know everyone likes different, you know, colors when it comes to hot pink or, you know, but this is a very vibrant, vibrant, hot pink. You know, that's uh, that specific angel coming around to also, you know, let you know. Also, Archangel Ariel came in as well. Something to do with pets. Uh, some of you are working with pets, possibly animal spirit guides, uh, the the hot pink, the annoyingness of it, you may seem to keep seeing it. All right, that has a lot to do with reminding you, my dears, that you are beautiful and you are worthy. All right, some of you out there may be afraid to ask that person out and may be feeling hopeless to that. This card is letting you know 
that happy times are coming for a lot of you out there, which is fabulous. Okay. Now, some of you out there, it's like, Carolyn, I'm already in happy times right now. That's great. You're going to, it's even going to amplify, you know, again, this is also encouraging you, you know, not to give up and to keep pushing forward with that. All right. Let's look a little bit more further into this as well. All right, especially when it comes to love and particular signs to possibly also be on the lookout for other than what I have mentioned. Okay, so this is saying getting back to what you love. You know, on the bottom here, it says your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. You know, and that could be very scary. As you can see in the imagery here, it's like she's coming out of this cave with her arms open like, yes finally out of this you know tunnel of confusion out of this you know uh, darkness if you will into the light here I finally have found my way it may have taken a while however here we are finally have found that right person finally have found that right career finally have found somebody that you possibly could have been looking for as well if you look a little bit closer and there's your higher self smiling you know, a uh, big shout out to Rion out there, you know, um, he's always saying, you know, don't embarrass your higher selves. And none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. You know, that's great. And also, too, we have the number three right there that is working with your very quickly when it comes to numerology, angel numbers, very generalized, you know, uh, that's working with your ascended masters as well. You know, this is coming into your own for a lot of you, especially if you have gone through a breakup, you know, possibly a, a breakup in order to make up, in order to build that stronger foundation. Again, meeting that person that is meant for you, that you've been wishing upon that star for. Oh, yeah. And by the way, Archangel Joe feels like, wait, Carolyn. Don't forget to tell them your wish is going to come true, you know, as long as that is out there for good intentions as well. Uh, you know, so be very uh, careful on your verbiage on what you wish for because you just might get it. All right. Uh, this is great when it comes to rediscovering yourself. Uh, I feel like a big shoulder shoulder. <laughs> A big weight has been lifted off of your shoulders, and this is going back to you. This is going back to uh, not really having to deal with somebody chirping in your ear like, you can't do this, you can't do that, you've got to have this type of career, you've got to you know, dress like this, you have to date this type of person, or you're never going to make it in life. You can't have that type of hobby. What are you thinking? Are you crazy? And it's just like, listen, again, blocking that out, all right? You know, uh, if you used to love to dance, why did you stop dancing? You know, go uh, if you used to love surfing or, you know, uh, drawing, whatever it is that you've always wanted to do, you know, especially a big shout out to, you know, uh, my, my fellow tarot readers out there, oracle readers, you know, uh, crystal workers, anything like that. People are just like, <gasps> that's evil. You shouldn't do things like that. And it's just like, wait a second. Again, it's about what we're putting out for intention. What does this have to do with what's going on for you and November 2020? This is getting back to you, not listening to that. And it's great to listen and consider what other people have to say. Consider the source. All right. Are they living their best life? You know, uh, and again, this is also morphing into, you know, the chrysalis sage, if you will. We've got the butterflies right there, you know, from the caterpillar into the cocoon, into the chrysalis there. And then uh, raising, again, your vibrational frequency. This is uh, cleaning out of friends, certain people, habits, stuff in your life that really were just dead weights. You know, you're, you've cut that. You've done your cord cutting. So this is really wonderful. This is fabulous. I can't wait to see what else happens for a lot of you. Sagittarius, never let anyone else dim your light. And there are a lot of people out there, unfortunately, that, that like to do that, you know. I mean, your ruling planet, was it Jupiter? Uh, I do believe that is the fourth brightest one out there, okay? So when it comes to planets, you know, uh, so the brighter you shine, sometimes that draws in, you know, the jealousy, the negativity. People are like, oh, are you cheating on me or doing this or doing that or just trying to bring you down, just trying to use you. And boy, does that ruffle feathers when you cut those people out of your life. 
But again, just do you. Do what's right for you. Do what feels best for you. And, you know, again, your higher self is just like, yes, okay. You know, we're waking up. We're getting through this. And we're uh, doing it together, too, whether you have people in your life or not. Your angels are there for you. Your spirit guides are there for you. Your past ancestors are there for you. So this is freedom, also freedom from yourself, freedom from uh, doubts and worries as well. So hopefully this reading was helpful to somebody out there. You know, again, the signs to possibly uh, be mindful or on the lookout for, you know, that may be coming to you or you possibly could be working with, again, other fire signs, other earth signs, you know, for those in water signs too. Uh, yeah, air signs are kind of coming in as well, like Gemini, Libra, you know, uh, maybe Aquarius, you know, most likely possibly working with a Pisces, Scorpio, maybe Cancer. Also, too, you know, maybe Taurus, Virgo, uh, maybe even Capricorn as well. I'm really picking up on those energies. So thank you all so much. And until next time.